today we're on to Lake Pleasant. Yep. Uh, we're outside of Phoenix. So that'd be fun. Another lake, another kayaking adventure. And we've stayed there before. No, we haven't. We haven't stayed at Lake Pleasant? We have, but they don't know that. Oh. <laughs> didn't you already? Oh, you didn't do I it? never do a video. I never oh, did a video of it. that's right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Time stops when we're alone. You got my love. Don't let it go. Feels like we're paper thin. One step away from caving in. When you're out with all the wild roams, and you're looking for a way back home, I'll be like that only you can see. everybody, welcome back to Surfer Travels. I'm Randy. Diane will join us in a little bit. We're here this week at Lake Pleasant. It's a Maricopa County Regional Park and it's on a huge reservoir which is what they call Lake Pleasant. We've been out there kayaking this week and it's been great. The weather here has been unbelievably warm um, in the 90s every day. Uh, which has been nice though. I mean there's been a breeze most every day too so unless you're spending the middle of the day in the sun it hasn't been that bad. Uh, this is our campsite here. As you can see we have a really nice site and off to the side here there's a great view actually almost all the way down into Phoenix. The campsite includes water and electric for $32 a month. They do charge extra where, there it is for bringing the kayak in. That was an extra two dollars per day. Um, so obviously we made sure we got the kayak in the water and used it for that. Today we walked over to the Discovery Center, which is in Lake Pleasant Regional Park, all ready to go inside and discover. Unfortunately, 
it is closed today. And when we read the sign, it's on its summer hours now. So it's only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we may get a chance to check it out this Friday before we leave. Today we're out on the reservoir located right next to Lake Pleasant Regional Park. It's a, yeah, it's a pretty big reservoir. Um, it has a great boat launch. And which we didn't use. Which we didn't use, but there are other areas if you have kayaks that you can put the water in. Oh, uh, you can put, yeah. You can put the water in your kayak? You put the water in your kayak. No, you can. There are many other areas that you can put your kayak in if you don't want to use the boat launch. It's a 10 lane boat launch. So, unless it's super busy, you won't have any trouble launching your boat. The wind seems to be picking up just a little bit, but it's sunny and the temperature is mild, not a cloud in the sky. And like I say, this is a beautiful park. It's, it's huge. I think it's extremely popular. And today, there are several sailboats out. There, I noticed a jet ski, and there's some other car boats out on the water. So it's a great day. So come along on our kayaking adventure today. How was your kayak ride? It was nice and relaxing. It's a beautiful day out here. Yeah, it was nice. It was a little breezy, but not too bad. And the water was calm and there wasn't a lot of people out on it. So we could kind of ride around and enjoy ourselves. Right. It was a nice, nice couple hours. Yeah. So all you who've been wondering, you know, why we have that kayak on our roof, are we ever going to use it? Today's the day. <laughs> this is why. Yep. <laughs> Finally got to use it. Let's get this stuff put away and get back and get some lunch. Zephyr, what do you think of uh, Lake Pleasant Campground? She said she liked it. The downfall is they didn't have a dog park. No. But plenty of area to walk around, didn't they? Yep, we went for lots of walks. Yep. Got and to see quite a few rabbits. Didn't you? Yeah. She doesn't talk too much. No, she's a dog of very few words. How about you, dear? It was a great time. Yeah? The weather was beautiful. We got to go kayaking. And, um, And what yeah. did we see? Donkeys. Burls, yes. Burls. So lots of burls. Yes, as they say in the West, burls. Yeah, yeah. If you're from, if you're from east of the Mississippi, they're donkeys. If you're west of the Mississippi, they're burls. Right. And so we got to see burrows. We actually got to see some babies this morning. Yeah. And they actually, the one day when we were kayaking, there was actually two of them down near the people that were kayaking or just having picnics. But yeah, and some of the people were feeding them and they didn't seem to be aggressive or anything. They were calm and friendly. One of the attractions they have here is a discovery center. We haven't had a chance to go yet, as they're only open Friday through Sunday. For we the actually summer. did go up there the other day, right. and they were closed. But they were closed. So I think we're going to try and go before we leave here today. Yeah, yeah today's our last day here. But we really do enjoy these parks. They're, they're really nice. They, they rival state parks. In fact, in some ways, they're actually even nicer than some of the state parks in, in uh, Arizona, though they don't have dog park. Right. But they do, they are very spacious um, campsites. They're nice because they're all on a hill here um, in this part of it. So you get a nice view of the area, the, the, the desert. 
but you have the, you know, on the other side of the campground you have a nice view of the lake so it's really very uh, enjoyable place to come and stay right and the campsite is nice because it includes a picnic table with a cover what yeah, you call them? They, they call them a Ramadas, Ramadas here. So, but yeah, it's a cover, it's like a, a gazebo or or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, they give you a little bit of shaded area. This one was nice because it was it worked out perfect. We could get the awning out on the trailer just underneath the edge of it. And so we had full coverage and a lot of shade during the day, which means we could actually come out and enjoy this, even though it's been in the 90s every day. Right, right. Yes, we've had some beautiful weather. It does tend to get a little windy in the after early afternoon, but the evenings are gorgeous. Yeah, and the mornings are nice too, because right. um, before the wind really starts to pick up. Right. When the sun starts to go down in the evening, it, it cools off a little bit. It just makes it comfortable for getting outside. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a great area, and you're not really that far from anything. I mean, there is the city of Wickenburg, what, about 30 miles away? About the same to Phoenix. Yeah. Scottsdale's over here, not too far away. Peoria. Cave Creek is just across the road, about 10 miles. Anthem is down a little bit. Right. So, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot that you can do. Wickenburg is, well, it's an old... Western town. Western town that's been refurbished. Yep. And so there's, you know, saloons, shops. It's not huge, but it would be a nice visit for a couple hours. Yeah, we're probably going to try that maybe next week. Yeah, it can be sad to leave today, but uh, we still have the Discovery Center to check out. We'll do that, and then uh, we'll head over to Cave Creek for our, our next stop, and that will be the next video. He's in the corner by you right there. Oh, yes? In the corner. Oh, okay. okay. Coming over. No, it's close up. Hello. Behind me is the Weldell Dam, and this is what makes Lake Pleasant. And this is also the water supply for Central Arizona. Now over here, actually over there, you're gonna see a little canal. That goes into the Central Arizona project, and that supplies water to Phoenix and Tucson. Now this dam actually replaced the existing dam that was here and increased this area significantly back in 1988. It's really kind of cool how uh, Air Central Arizona has harnessed the water. Now, all the water from here comes from the Colorado River and Arizona has allocated so much water out of that river and by having this large reservoir here at Lake Pleasant it allows them to store that water during the winter months when the water usage isn't as great and then during the summer that water is released out and used and by releasing it they're actually generating electricity so it's a win-win the electricity allows them to pay for the cost of the maintenance of the dam and the waterway and they actually sell some excess water this reservoir also works to help um, rainfall. So if they have a lot of rainfall at one particular time, this will prevent flooding in the surrounding areas. 
So it's kind of neat how they worked all this stuff out. Well, our time here at Lake Pleasant has come to a pleasant ending. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got the chance to go in the Discovery Center and learn quite a bit about the uh, founding of the park and the development of the water and now what they do with the water. Yep. So now we've got to head to our next spot, which we've already hinted is going to be Cave Creek, which isn't too far from here. Only about 20 miles. Right. So we're heading over there. But we're going to end this video here, and that will be next week's video. So until then, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And leave us a comment if you've ever been to Lake Pleasant. There are really nice parks, and these county parks here around Maricopa County are some of the best. Yeah, they're, you know, it's a big park. There's a lot to do if you're into water sports. Bring your boat, bring your kayak, bring your paddleboard, sailboard, um, sailboat. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Hiking. Yeah, Hike, yeah hiking is big around here too, so yeah. a lot of hiking areas. So. All right, guys, until next time, see you down the road. We'll see you down the road. Bye. Bye.